What are your thoughts on grounding? That's the question I was recently asked. And that's the question we're going to dive into right now on Ask a Doc. I'm Dr. Michael Smith, a naturopathic physician who loves helping people be well. And I need to, to slow down there because that's what really grounding is all about. It's about slowing down and connecting with our bodies, with nature, with the earth, and helping ourselves find optimal health and wellness in the process. Now, later on, I'm going to share seven ways that I like to ground. Um, but before that, I want to talk about kind of like the, the idea of grounding and why and how it works. Um, so we have in our body two the a nervous system. We've got, but different branches of it, all these nerves that connect and talk to each other. There's the, the somatic nervous system that helps us control our, our movements. That's the part that we think about. But then we have our autonomic nervous system, and we don't even think about that really at all. Um, our autonomic nervous system helps keep track of our heart rate, our blood pressure, our breathing, our awake cycles and sleep cycles and hormone levels and so many other things that we just don't even think about. It's all unconscious to us, but it's there and it's really important um, for our health and well-being. So within the, uh, the autonomic nervous system, there's two branches. There's the sympathetic nervous system and there's the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic, we often referred to as the fight or flight response. So when that sympathetic nervous system is activated, uh, we're fighting and fighting. We're running from a bear. We're having adrenaline, um, the epinephrine. We're trying to get out of there. And our body responds to allow that to happen. Um, blood vessels shrink, airways open, and we can bolt out of there if there's a bear coming which I hear is happening more often if you go to national parks close by. Um, or that or, bu that or bison. Um, that's a different story for another day. The parasympathetic nervous system is otherwise known as the rest and digest nervous system. That helps us, our body, relax. Um, after we eat a good meal, it helps direct blood to go to our stomach um, where it can, and our intestines, our gut, to help us digest the food. And one of the main nerves in the parasympathetic nervous system is called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is one of the longest nerves in the body. It comes out of our, um, our brainstem up here. It goes throughout our whole body and helps us interfaces with a lot of different organs. And when that vagus nerve is strong we're able to better relax, better cope with stress, better um, enjoy life and be present. And I, I feel like that grounding is an activity that helps strengthen and support the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system. I firmly believe that our, our mind and our body is connected. When our brain, our body is healthy, our brain will be, our mind will be healthy. And when our mind is healthy, our body will be healthy as well. There's a, they're connected. Um, and also, uh, the, the, there's the idea that the nature inside of us needs the nature outside of us. And grounding allows us to have, allow the nature that's inside of us to experience the nature that's outside of us. Now, does grounding work? Absolutely. There's some great studies that I'll put the links in down below that highlight how grounding really helps with um, anti-inflammation, um, helps decrease inflammation. It can reduce pain. It can reduce stress. It improves blood flow, energy, sleep, and general well-being. It's pretty awesome. Grounding, um, I think, is fairly easy to do. Um, there's there's many ways. There's no right or wrong way. Um, but the ways that I like to do it, there's seven of them. I'm going to share them with you now. Number one, I love to listening. To, I love listening to relaxing music. Music for me is very therapeutic. When I'm oftentimes when I'm just working um, as a doctor, working on patient charts or whatever, I'll have some like classical music or something in the background. Lately, it's been some more like um, 
movie music, the, the symphonic background music from movies, but just relaxing music helps me feel calm and feel grounded. Number two, deep breathing exercises. It's amazing that how our breathing really affects our nervous system. A couple ways that I like to do that, I like to teach patients about four square breathing, where you literally breathe in for four counts, hold for four counts, breathe out for four counts, and hold for four counts. Breathe in, uh, hold, out, hold. Four counts, four, four sides, square breathing. Um, I think it's an amazing way of just consciously regulating our breath. The other way um, that's very similar is uh, I like to refer to it as 7-Eleven breathing, uh, in part because it reminds me of a Slurpee, but also because it's it's easy to remember. Um, be, so 7-Eleven breathing, it really doesn't matter if it's 7 or 11, or if it's 6 or if it's 12, or if it's 5 or if it's 14. Really, the idea is you want you breathe in for 7 counts, or whatever it is, and you breathe out for 11. Breathe in and breathe out. And you really want to breathe out for longer than you're breathing in. When we breathe out, we stimulate our body's parasympathetic nervous system. When we breathe in, we stimulate our sympathetic nervous system. So by breathing out longer than we're breathing in, we're stimulating our abilities, body's ability to relax, to rest, and digest, to help with anxiety, stress, fear, worry, and other things like that. The third way is what's called emotional freedom technique tapping. Now, that is a subject of a whole video on its own. There are some amazing people that talk about it, um, but I will just introduce it to you and share some amazing links down below. Um, EFT tapping um, it uses a combination of psychology and uh, Chinese uh, acupressure meridian points to stimulate the body's um, energy meridians and ability to calm down. And by tapping in different places on our body and our face, we can st uh, help. And by thinking certain things as we do it or not, we help our body relax. We help our body calm down. And then we can help our body um, be at more at peace. Um, there's some great people, um, Alex, Alex and Jessica Ortner. They put together the website Tapping Solution. Um, they have a wonderful app um, and great 101 tutorial. If you're new to tapping, you're interested in trying it, go check them out. Brad Yates is another one on YouTube who does some amazing tapping scripts that you can tap along with. The one that I do, I try to do it every day, is called The Amazing Day. Um, it helps me have an amazing day, and it's awesome. Um, so EFT tapping is amazing. Number four, I love to be out in nature. Um, whether it's going on a walk, I was able to go out on a, outside this morning before it got too warm to be next to the canal, be in nature, um, be it whether it's in the mountains or on a bike ride or whatever, sitting on the grass, uh, maybe not literally hugging a tree, but being close to plants, animals, nature can be really grounding. It's amazing what that feels like. Um, and if you're really adventurous, taking off your shoes and just feeling the energy of the earth um, underneath. And it's, uh, it's really relaxing if you're able to go to a beach or a beachfront, um, feeling the sand, feeling the water. Um, those, are, those, for me, are really grounding. Number five is meditation. Meditation for me is, is just really focusing my thoughts on the pre on being present uh, in the, what's happening right now in with me. Uh, I, it's, take, it's hard to meditate, I think in part because I just have so many thoughts going through my brain. Like if I get rid of one thought, another one comes. If I get rid of that, then there's 20 more that are waiting. And it's really hard. So when I meditate, I like to close my eyes and focus on my breath. Think about breathing in and out. And if there's a thought that comes to mind, acknowledge it and let it go. Acknowledge it and let it go. Don't just try to shove it away, but acknowledge it and just be at peace with it. Let it go. Put it on the shelf. You can come back to it. It'll be there. And if you forget about it, that's fine too. You'll survive. Um, 
meditation. Number six is yoga. I love moving my body. Um, and yoga provides a nice, gentle way of doing that. Um, there are many different yoga principles. Maybe you've taken a yoga class. Um, there are many uh, great t teachers, instructors on YouTube. Yoga with Adrian being one of them that I like. I'll, I'll link to her channel down below. Um, there's some really simple ways of just moving our body, stretching, um, slowing down, being present, being mindful as we move. Um, that's been an amazing practice. And then the last one are grounding mats. Um, these use some more electrical charges that help with um, helping our body just feel more grounded. Um, whether And I'm not uh, an expert on the science behind it, but I, I do believe that they really help with help us ground, help us calm down. And I'll share some links to those down below as well. So there are seven ways that I like to ground and that you might try or consider as well. Relaxing music, deep breathing, emotional freedom technique, tapping, being out in nature, meditation, yoga, and grounding mats. I'm sure there's others. I'm sure you can think of others. The things that work for you that helps to strengthen your um, parasympathetic nervous system, help you calm down, help you be present. In your journey to do that, I wish you all the best. If you found this helpful today, go down, uh, give us a like, give us a, give me a subscribe, and that way I can know what questions, um, I can know how to best, better serve you. Um, please let me know what questions do you have for a naturopathic doctor? What, what, what have you always been curious to learn? And I, that will become the subject of a future video. Thank you for joining, and... I wish you all the best in being grounded and being well. Have a great day.